Alrighty guys, so welcome back to Ark, where today we're going and building uh, something special. So, I have come to the decision that the Redwood base is not going to cut it, alright? We need like an actual proper base on the ground, alright? And this is just after, like, okay, so going back and looking at it, the only reason the tech tower on Extinction worked so good is because I had a lot of S plus stuff built up and ready and going when I put it all together. Now, with all the Ark Survival Ascended stuff and so, like not having that mod, um, I need like actual proper ground because stuff falls through and it causes lag and all that. Like that treehouse base, like just the floors that are clipping together, I feel like is causing a lot of lag. So. We are heading over to Carnivore Island to go build a base. Yeah, I know, not not the most friendly of place to go live, but I figured I wanted a bit of a challenging place to live, all right? When we the reason I'm doing this as well is because when we did Aberration, the base we built on Aberration worked so good, all right? We had a we had all the light plants set up to keep out the nameless. We had farms set up. We had all that. All right. We even had a little breeding station with a water area. Like, it's all we needed. And it worked. And it was awesome. But right now, with the treehouse, I mean, it's working. It's just that the farms aren't going as well. And because of the structure, the way I built the structure, it's laggy. I mean, I should have probably used a lot more triangle ceilings, but then again, the way the new clipping or was it the new snapping mechanics work with all that, it's it's a little difficult. Okay, so now I need to figure out where I want to actually build on Carnivore Island. Ooh, ooh, what did I whistle? I'm pretty sure I whistled attack my target. All right, I whistle passive. Okay, so we got our Rhino Nantheo with us. What I can do is this. Now we can go and like look for a spot with an actual speedy mount. He should be fine sitting there. The reason I brought the Quetzal over is because I built just enough stuff on there that if I need it, I have all the stuff like on this island and on him. To throw together a base, you know? But as of right now, all the stuff I have on him is I got me some pre built structures such as foundations and most importantly, gates. I got gates so that way I can close off a chunk of the island if I need be. But I'm wondering because I need a place I can build a water pen. And well, over here looks nice. Like we got that little shelf right down there. We could go down off that. Or off of there. Um. What I could do. I could do that right there. We could claim that island. Or. Yeah. Here's. This is where we'll build. We'll build. We'll start down here. Um. Where's my Quetzal? My Quetzal's out over here. So we're going to build on this little island outcrop right there to start with. And I guess we'll close off a bit of it just to keep, like, Carnos and all that off of the, off of us. So here we go. Boom. 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 Whistle you to follow me so that way you follow. Okay. So to start with here, let's just grab a stack of each triangle and actual foundations because I would like to at least get started out here with a little bit of a area out towards the sea that's a flat you know plane to build on boom let's see how far out we can go okay I think we're gonna do this 
And I will see how many of these I need. Or how much of this I want to build. Because there's definitely going to be spots, see, like here, where I need ceilings. And I don't have ceilings on me. Um. Ah! I might have picked a bad spot. I'll figure this out. Okay, so gotten a nice chunk done. I've gotten a hundred of my foundations placed, and it looks like I'm gonna need a lot more still. And while I've moved my location, definitely. You guys haven't tell haven't been able to tell. Uh, land, Rhino. Land. Shoot. Uh, I was hoping he would land. Here. I gotta do this the hard way. Okay. We'll unwhistle you. We'll land you. So you may notice, I got this pretty even with the water as well. Um that even with the water actually that I think my flyers can't even like come on man land that might be a problem I don't think my flyers can land on this come on Quetzal Quetzal's not gonna like this. Oh, okay, it looks like the Quetzal can land on this. I don't know why the Rhino doesn't like it. Huh. But, I think what we can do here is, if possible, I want to go over as far as I can with the triangles. Look, look. Uh, you know what? Why not? We'll just go over until here. Now we're going to go straight back. Okay, there we go. Boom, 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 boom. Good. Now, we're going to try and trace the coastline. I'm going to have to definitely get ceilings and all that to make this look neat. But, we at least were able to get that. Here. I can... I still got plenty of the triangle foundations here as well. What I'm mostly trying to do right now is just get a giant flat foundation built. You know, just a massive flat place where I can construct stuff on. And so what I'm going to do is cut the video here, and we will get back to you as soon as I got it all built. Alrighty guys, so I've gotten my big foundation here done, the one that's out in the water. And I've also gone around and I have placed down all my uh, walls, or my uh, gateways and all that, my w gates and gateways. So that way I have a secured wall all the way around my base to keep out any uh, unwanted pests. And for an extra layer of security, I have gone around and I have placed some metal spikes. That's just to deter anything. This little chunk of wall right here though has not gotten the spikes yet. I have ran out. Need more metal. And then we got all of this over here with the metal spikes. So... This one here is actually a good, like, representation of them. Like, look at how just long it is and, like, how far it stretches. Alright? Like, that's a lot of metal spikes. 
But hopefully if any like high level creatures do try to attack my base or any alphas, uh, those metal spikes should help, uh, you know, deter them and prevent them from destroying the base. Come on, land. There we go. And yeah, um, been thinking of, I've been like, I spent so much time on this Been thinking about what else do I need? Cause as of now, it's, I need to just start moving the base. Like we need to build farms. We need to build, uh, farms. We need to move the workshop. This is, this entire thing's a dino storage area. Um, we will be expanding as well outwards because i bet 100 percent i can get me a water pen built out this way might expand it more who knows we'll figure that out when it comes to that but as of now this was a nice day this was a long day too this took me a good three hours of work and again half of these resources i already had so let me think about this. If I didn't have all the resources like are done and ready and all the metal refined, this would have probably taken me a whole 12 hours to complete. Uh, this has taken me... Let me actually check my clock. I think it was only three hours. It was four and a half hours. Right? It's taken me four and a half hours because I woke up at noon and I know for a fact I took a two hour break and it is already 7.30. So... You know what that means, guys. That's probably going to be it for this episode. So if you guys have found yourself liking this video, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. And as well, we are currently running a members goal and a sub goal for our members goal. That is just for the YouTube channel members. It's $1.99. And the goal is, is once we hit 10 YouTube channel members, we will be opening up an ARC, an ARC server exclusive to the YouTube channel members. Sorry, I kind of started losing what I was saying there at the end. And for our sub goal, last year I had our sub goal set to a thousand. This year I've tacked on another zero. So we're going for 10,000 subs this year, guys. Yeah, I absolutely believe that we can do it. I absolutely believe we can hit 10,000 subs. So yeah, as long as we keep up the good work and you guys keep on subscribing and liking. We should hit that goal. But anyways, this has been Gunshy Mori signing off. Peace.